Hey guys, welcome back to another book video. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a review for Witchborn by Nicholas Bowling. Bowling. Um, I know that I always butcher these names and I'm sorry if you can see a reflection. This book cover is very very glossy. Um, I noticed that when I picked it up I'm like holy crap it's really glossy. Um, so if you can see that white glare it's from the windows because I really need the light. It is a very very dark and gloomy day so I'm sorry if the lighting is not the best but we are going to get through it. Um, so I wasn't sure about this book at first whether or not I wanted to review it just because I have a feeling that I'm probably not going to make reviews anymore for books that I am not that excited and thrilled to share with you guys. <laughs> but since this is the last book that I have read in the year of 2018, I thought I would give it a shot for you. <laughs> it's not that I did not like it or enjoy it, it's just that it was not my cup of tea. Um, I did start a new book, but I'm not going to be finishing that for sure for this year. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, basically, it's about a girl who lives with a mom who, well, like, her mom is a witch, basically. And at the beginning of the story, it starts by all the witch hunters coming to her house and attacking her and killing her and then leaving her child behind when because they didn't know that she had a child behind and then once they killed her they were like wait a minute didn't she have a child so they go into the house and they find her and then they take her away and they bring her to this place where um she's kept prisoner and then people come and get her to steal her away to bring her to the queen um, for different reasons and then on the way she kind of escapes and goes to this tavern or in place where she meets like um, this cool innkeeper lady she's kind of a little bit of a um, I don't know ditzy a little bit <laughs> um, and then she meets a boy that saves her and he keeps her secret away from the innkeeper finding out because she does have this um, it's called like a mommet or monnet or something. It's a doll that only like apparently witch people have. Kind of like a voodoo doll but not really at the same time. Um, so I don't really know because I have actually never heard of that before. So I was kind of interested in that. But he took everything away that they could find that would make her um, come out as a witch. So they go on this journey together to figure out why her mother died and why her mother gave her this letter to go to somebody and find this person and at the same time the Queen Elizabeth and Queen uh, Mary of Scots I think it is um, not Mary of Scots but that's like I have literally just watched the trailer for that movie coming out but they're having like a fight in between each other and it's just um, this battle going on and at the same time they just really want to find her and figure out what to do with her and there's just this whole secret behind her birth and behind her whole life story um so that's the most interesting part that i found throughout this book was the witch the witch background and all these different things that they mention my camera is about to die so if it does go out i will change over the battery <laughs> um but yeah, that's basically all that I really found interesting was um, the witch background and the life story behind her and the whole twist and turn. If you hear my dog, she's chewing on her food. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it was okay. It wasn't as interesting as I thought. Um, I knew that this book was more for like fall and the fall season, but I kind of picked it up just because because I wanted, it is not really a short read, but it is at the same time. Um, it's kind of thick, but I got through it very fast. Um, but then towards the like middle, I kind of just forced myself to keep reading it because I already read a book that I just stopped and didn't want to finish it. And this would have been another book that I just stopped and didn't want to finish it. So I was like, you know what? 
It's the last book I'm probably going to finish before the end of the year. Mine as well. So, I mean, it was okay. I gave it a 3 out of 5 stars. I think that's what the rating is on Goodreads for it. It's like 3.5 stars for the book. But I... Okay, so my camera just died, <laughs> unfortunately. But, um, like I was saying, it is somewhat of a good book um i really also did enjoy the whole london and how it took place well it's supposed to take place in london um that part was cool because it really honestly makes me want to go to london especially right now when everyone's going during christmas time um but overall i kind of had high expectations for this because i know that it was one of my most anticipated releases and i've been saying that a lot that a lot of these books are my anticipated releases and i never really end up enjoying them so right now i currently am on chapter two on lifelike by jay kristoff which i am very excited for he has a ton of books coming out next year so if you guys have not heard of him you should read his books he is great but that is the book that i'm going to be going into the new year with if you guys have any other book recommendations let me know I'm sorry that I could not give this book a great review, but I thought I would share it with you guys anyway. If you guys have read this book, um, let me know your thoughts. If you guys have not read this book, you guys should read this book and let me know what you guys think otherwise. <laughs> but yeah, that is all for my book review and I hope to see you guys in another book review video.